In this module, I want to go over saving your document, the save versus save as command, inspecting your document to remove metadata, and protecting your document by marking as final and also by encrypting it. First, let's discuss the two basic save options, save versus save as. So to get to save, we go to the backstage, click file, you have save and save as. Save overwrites the existing document with new changes. Save As saves the document with a different name or to a different location. So it's very important to understand the difference. For example, if you are using a document you already created as a base or template for your new document, you will want to use the Save As option so you do not overwrite the existing document. You have several location options available when you save a new document. Where you choose to save your document depends heavily on how you plan to use it. To be able to access the document from anywhere, share it with others, and collaborate on it in real time with others, you need to save it online. When you save your document, it also saves various bits of information with it called metadata. This information includes when the document was created, the author of the document, total editing time, and who worked on it. If you do not want this information known, you should remove the metadata from the document. This is done through words inspect document. So if we take a look at the properties on this document, you'll notice total editing time of 10 minutes, when it was last modified, created, and printed. It'll also tell the author and who last modified it. If we go back into the document, there's track changes and there's comments within this document. So now let's go back into the backstage and inspect this document so we can remove the metadata. So we're going to click File, check for issues, and choose Inspect Document. Once we do this, it's going to open up the Document Inspector dialog box, which gives us various options to choose for inspecting our document. We're going to go ahead and leave them all checked because the inspection process does not make any changes to your document. What it will do is come back and tell us what it finds within the document during the inspection process. So let's click Inspect. Now let's look at the results. First, it found revision marks and comments. Then it found our metadata information. And let's scroll down. There was custom XML data found and headers, footers, and watermarks found within this document. So let's go ahead and decide what we're going to remove from the document. Now be very careful if you've got revisions and comments within your document. If during the inspection process you tell it to remove it, what it will do is it will accept all the revisions within your document and it will delete the comments. So if this is the document you want to send out with the revisions still in the document, do not remove them here. What I actually recommend doing is if you have a document with revisions in it and you do want them removed from the document, go through the Review tab and accept or decline the changes there. Don't let Word automatically do it for you through this process. Now we're going to go ahead and leave them because we want those in the document when we send them out. So we're going to come down to the next thing it found, which was the document properties and personal information. This is the kind of metadata I want removed from this document, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to remove it all. Now, if you come way down to the bottom, you're going to see a note that says, some changes cannot be undone. So be very careful when you're going through and doing this that you've saved it as a new document or you're willing to allow it to save the changes that it makes over the document on the system. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to remove all. We'll come down to the XML data. I'll go ahead and remove that. And now it found headers and footers within my document. And I have my logo in the header and my company information in the footer and I don't want that information removed so I'm not going to tell it to remove that. So I'm going to say close. Now let's go back to our document. My track changes are still within the document because I did not tell it to remove it. My header and my footer is still there as well. Let's go back to properties, change the editing time, and it removed the last modified. So let's go ahead and save this as my clean document. So I'm going to click save as. Now when we come in and look at our document, you can see that it removed my name from the information for the redlining and for the comments. 
and it changed it to a generic author. Because the name is part of a metadata, it has removed that. It didn't remove the redlining, but it made it more generic to remove some of the metadata. And it also does not tell you when it was done. Let's go back to our properties. So we'll click on File. We look at our properties. Zero editing time. It was modified and created at the same time. There is no last print. And there's no author listed on the document. So it's removed all of that information from the document. And now it's ready for me to go ahead and encrypt it and send it out. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and put a password on the document. But to put a password on the document, you go through the Protect option, which is still in the backstage. So we'll click Protect Document. And we'll choose Encrypt with Password. When we do this, it'll bring up the Encrypt Document dialog box. And this is where we insert our password. Make sure you keep track of the password you put on the document. Click OK. Enter the password again. Now you'll notice the Protect Document area became yellow, and it tells me a password is required to open this document. So that's how you remove the metadata from a document and encrypt it. Now I'm going to pull up another document so that we can mark it as final. So I've got my presentation document, and it's ready to be marked as final before I send it out. So I'm going to click File to go to the Backstage, come to the Protect Document Options, and choose Mark as Final. When you do that, Word's going to come up with an alert. This document will be marked as Final and then saved. So we'll say OK. Before it completes the process, Word will come back with an information box telling us the document's been marked for Final to indicate that editing is complete and the document is in the Final version. So we'll say OK to that. You'll notice the Protect Document box turned to yellow again, and this time it says this document has been marked as final to discourage editing. If we go back to our document, you notice at the top it says marked as final, and if we come down to our status bar, you can also see it's been marked as final. So this document's now ready to send out or encrypt it and send out. As a review of this module, we went over the Save command, inspecting your document for metadata, and protecting your document by marking it as final and encrypting it. All of the commands used in this module were done in the backstage. So you click File, click Protect Document to encrypt it or to mark it as final. Click Check for Issues to inspect your document. You have your Save and your Save As.